Hello everybody. I'd like to thank you for joining me today. Today uh, we decided we'd take a little trip out in nature and uh, go down to the river and we figured we'd spend a, a night out here and do a little camping. And uh, to our surprise we got way out here and this, this river was dry. I've only seen it like this one time before. But this will this will show you a little bit of the uh, what the heat wave here in Tennessee has been causing to our riverbed. And uh, this video is going to be a video response to Busy Can Do's 100 subscriber contest. Uh, he asked that that we take somebody out, you know, that don't get to get a chance to go out in nature that often and uh, try to practice some, some bushcraft skills and maybe sharing a little knowledge. So I brought my wife and my daughter and uh, our nephew and I uh, figured I'd get them out here and uh, show them a few things, maybe show them how to start a fire with a magnesium fire starter and I've been working a little bit with them on uh, different knots for tying and I hope this is a uh, a good enough video to enter me into busy can do's challenge and I think it's a really good challenge because I believe everybody should get out and share their knowledge and, and help pass on the knowledge it seems to me that bushcraft is kind of a dying art Every day there's less and less people, you know, wanting to get out and enjoy nature. Everybody's always wanting to be stuck in front of a TV or at home or something to that effect. Playing video games or texting. But sometimes it's good to get out and, you know, just be reminded, you know, of the beauty that's that's outside the house. And uh, for my subscribers uh, that are watching, or anybody watching for that matter, uh, if you're not familiar with uh, Busy Can Do, uh, really great guy, and uh, he does a lot of really good bushcraft videos. And I'd recommend to everybody to to go check him out. And of course, we brought Annie the Nature Dog. We're not roughing it too awful bad. And we brought a tent, a couple chairs, just a few items. But we got a nice little beach spot right here in front of what's left of the river. The, the river's right flowing through there. Well, it was. But uh, we'll go see if we can get a fire going. And see if we can do a little teaching and a little learning. We got a stockpile of wood for the night. I think we'll leave some of these long and we'll just lay them on the fire and let them burn themselves in half. But hopefully this will be enough to last tonight. And got a few rocks around here. Made us a little fire pit. And let's see, tent's right there. And this is our view. Water's pretty low. Whenever I start a fire, I always try to uh, try to find something dry to put down, real fine, whatever, something will burn real quick underneath on the bottom. And I always try to get two piles, one of real fine stuff. 
dryer starter with a, a Victronic knife and my homemade dryer link plugs. Basically how I do these is I take one dryer sheet and wrap around it and ball up the, uh, the dryer link in the middle and then you can use it. Fire was a success. Once we get a bed of coals, it's ought to stay going pretty good. <coughs> so I brought these, uh, it's some sort of sausage with a uh, cheddar inside, like a hickory smoked sausage. So we're having some sausage and some chips and stuff for supper. Just about done. I think that's about good enough. Smells tasty. What do you got? I've got burrito and sausages. Fritos and yeah. sausage? Yeah. Ooh. Uh, I use this for a nap and I just do it. I I'll shove it in there. To cut your I sausage? Yeah. And Well that's a purpose I I've never thought of for a Frito, using it for a knife. Uh-huh. Good idea. Well Annie's waiting for somebody to drop a chunk. It's like ooh, I smell food. Mmm, Doritos. Cool Ranch. It's got the cheese in it. Pretty good.
Is there a bunch of coal right there? Where at? Hold it out. Let me see. Show it to the camera. Yep, those little pieces of coal. Yep. I just found a huge one. A huge one, huh? Yep. Cool. Yeah, it's everywhere. Right there. Be careful up there. Well, be okay. Well, be careful. I just like to remind everybody to cherish your friends and your family, because what you have today might not be here tomorrow. Y'all take care. Be safe. God bless. Thanks for watching.